Greetings, everyone, and great here with another Dawn of War 2 replay. So on the south side, as the mech boy, we have Fathom. So on the north side, as a foreign name, we have Komazar. I use the term foreign name if I can't pronounce the person's name, or I try to talk about the person's name. If it's clearly not English, I don't even try to pronounce because I don't even know how to begin to pronounce it. Point is being activated over here. We do have the mech boy captured the requisition point, and the sluggers captured the VP. Sentinel coming in, going in deep, trying to intercept some squads and start stomping on them. No stomp upgrade just yet, and nope, the bluff did not work. In computers too, I, sometimes you can bluff with a AT grenade or a Panzer Faust, but in that case, he did not fall for the bluff or for the stomp. Stomp's not being researched just yet. He probably, let's see, it's like 15 energy, right? So he does have enough for upgrading stomp. Maybe he's out of requisition. His requisition is low. Why on power generator? So maybe, maybe he's going to just uh, cut costs and not go for the stomp. Which is perfectly fine. Most time, people just want it for decapping pressure and things that sort. Over here, we do got some Ludas being deployed on out. Huh, I just realized something. One squad of Shooters. No the Slugger, nor Shooters or Sluggers. Well, I'm going crazy. And, but he's going straight for Ludas. Opponent, he can, the stomp upgrade is a good counter to engage the Ludas. So he, when he sees the Ludas, he probably can go for a stomp upgrade or another counter unit, which would probably be the uh, artillery spotter, bringing some more mortar strikes for knockback. The structure's not exactly great for pure guards, but just not enough windows. One last gun's not enough to fire against these shooters. Shooters now engaging with these pure guardsmen. And Sinto's coming over here. The mech boy does hop inside the garrison. It's a good garrison for the mech boy. And now we have a heavy weapons team to come and engage those Ludas. The second Ludas being deployed on now. Sluggers now pushing the way forward. We do have a single tank trap deployed on out. Which I don't think it's not very good at stopping vehicles. Guard squad is getting overran. It does have to start upgrading. And you have this heavy bolt or heavy weapons team. Burners won't be able to get those generators since the heavy weapons team. No stomp upgrade. That probably tells him that he hasn't got the stomp upgrade. Second looter has been deployed. And we've got these looters kept at the central VP. Over here, we've got the Sentinel going around the flanks, and the mech boy kept at the requisition point. Teleports away. And now we've got these looters in the center of the map. So he's going. Maybe he should have. Well, mech boy. Mech boy can deploy off the sentry guns, right? Maybe he should have gone for sentry guns rather than looters more he wants to. Check the flank like that. Maybe he's using a capture mode. Ooh, that mech boy is also severely wounded. Sentinels try and pursue. Down to 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 9, 8, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 19. Yep, he managed to go to home base. Hero Guardsmen making the way forward. Ludas are now engaging his good damage with Hero Guardsmen. Sluggers are charging on him. Sentinel will be falling on back. These guardsmen are actually severely wounded. 
you won't be able to repair the Sentinel and fulfills and guards because they're just gonna get focused down and destroyed. Yeah, I suppose since they're non combat they can. Heavy weapons team in a bad position. Let's get some suppression there. Luda stealthed. And now we got some tier 2 being used by both players. I should really use the uh, numpad a bit more. Not numpad, the uh, arrow piece moving on the camera a bit more. In a lot of games, I try to use a WASDF to move around the camera. But of course, this is one of the older games where you can't customize those uh, hotkeys. And it's also a bit better than trying to move around with the cursor. Heavy weapons team gets back inside the garrison. There's another generator there, so he's going for a heavy generator play. Trying to go for a lot of power. Hmm. Tier 2 is researched by the Imperial Guards player. What should he deploy? With two Lutus there, a Manticore wouldn't be half bad with two against two Lutus. He's going for Chimera, which allows him to also flank the Lutus as well. But he has to be worried. A beam duff gun is very, very likely. And it looks like the Lord Commissar went down here a long time ago, it looks like. Upgrading the uh, signal to a missile launcher would be half bad as well. The long range fire support would be quite nice. Generator going, being decaptured. Mm -hmm. And now shoot us too! Chimera's making his way forward. Guardsmen will be forced on back. While the Chimera is making his advance, nothing will open the back. Because you can see the pindle mounts or the uh, hull mounts, garrison mounts not firing or rotating. Heavy weapons team engaging the Ludus, and he does have a weird boy out in the field. The weird boy will be affected by the sentinel as well. Should be able to take about 25% of his health out if he hits the uh, sentinel. He's not sure what he's doing though. Warcraft. Delays the weird boy's death explosion. I think so he goes out of control, increases health by 25% and grants the warpath ability which increases which increases surrounding infantry speed by 2%. So he's going for fast orbs. We also have death direct coming on out. He does have a hit the scene, so he's able to deploy a last cannon. Maybe auto cannon is an alternative as well. Over here. Go damage onto the sentinel. Ludus is making its advance. I'm to secure the central sector. Ludus is set up while the weird board captures the VP. Flamers burning up these VPs. Tier 3 being reached by the Lord of Commissar. Likely going to play out Lehman Russ. Could be saving up for one of the Bane Blades. Partial Squad would be, wouldn't be half bad either, but not really necessary at this point in time. That's kind of being deployed on out by the Heavy Weapons team. And not that the Slugger's now trying to avoid these uh, forces, and the Death Dread is also. Yeah, Death Dread doesn't. Nothing really. He went in the Death Thread just yet. Now he sees the last cannon, so now he knows it's a threat to Death Thread. Commissar has been redeployed. Basic petrocy, no equipment. Mech Boy does have some equipment as well. He has the battery pack, which gives energy and health uh, restoration. And we do also got proximity mines. Those proximity mines could be quite useful. I wonder, it says deploy four proximity mines, so it must be a throw ability. The proximity mine ability in 
that Cyrus has in Chaos Rising, it's absurd. It's overpowered. And also, like, consume, like, like, consumes both energy and throws in groups of four. It's absurdly powerful. Cyrus in the campaign, it's he's overpowered. Like, uh, them, oh, there's the mines. And they instantly detonate as well, so it can be used as a cluster grenade. Ooh, look at that guard squad. The Chimera can't fight for reinforcements. But I was saying beforehand, Cyrus is, uh, deploy, like, them was to charge. Is a you think Comforter's 2's uh, demolition targets were bad? Cyrus is even more powerful. I think it can almost one shot a shot uh, Conifex. The Sentinel almost hit this landmine. I believe the Sentinel's also. Ooh! That shot there with the landmine detonating may have actually what killed the Sentinel. I don't think that uh, Blue Boy's shot was enough to destroy it, but that combination is probably what actually got him killed. Good hits there. A haywire grenade, I believe, was thrown. Partial squad. Don't have the pl uh, plasma gun upgrade just yet. Blast cannon getting some great hits there. And that death threat's dead. Death threat dead. I can't think of a good pun out of that right now. But there goes death threat. We got some storm boys coming in. Unusual option. Maybe we'll jump in on that uh, last cannon. I say cancel the storm boys, tech up, and get some knobs. The chimera is not a huge threat, it's just a big threat. Or a medium threat. So knobs should be more than plenty. He needs a frontline. Great landmine detonation again. He doesn't need storm boys to jump in on that last cannon anymore since he doesn't have anything for that last cannon to shoot at. It's a low priority squad at this point. He does have a stealth looter right here. Throws out some landmines. They have random spread, so they don't immediately detonate. But that was a pretty good detonation there. Last can gets a good hit there on the Chimera. A little good hits. One more shot may kill him. He does go out of control. He may lose the Luda there, but no more vehicles remaining, so he can perhaps keep that back at home or use his captain squad. That thing's captured up the left flank as well. Back of the strike. The back of the strike, in my opinion, may be a bit overpowered. Lord Commissar has a lot of good upgrades. He's also getting the Fist of Brockus, which is really good as well because it can cause, it can cause uh, immortality for his nearby uh, members. Not invulnerability, but immortality so they don't actually go down. Lord Commissar is falling on back. Looks like I've been able to upgrade on the partial squad. So boys do jump on in, but run straight into the. Uh, Boom, Terrestrial Central Guns. The VPs are not captured by any side, or no one plays to the other side, but the Imperial Guard player has a lot of VPs. While the Orc player does have a good number as well. That generator is fully destroyed now. That core does teleport away in time as well. Good hits there. Nice generator bashing. Stick bombers again being put out. Does he have any tier 3 yet? No, he does not have tier 3. Got some vomit there. Very nice. Getting some good hits in. Stick bombers maybe on charge on forward. Good hit there. And a good hit there as well. Sluggers, Ludas, and Storm Boys pushing the way forward in the center. Mech Boys in the mix as well. 
And he has been up with the, uh, the Daka 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 upgrade. Yeah. Sick bomb is going around the left flank. The right flank's been captured by the Imperial Guardsmen. Or more precisely, the uh, Lord Commissar and the Guardsmen. Olgren coming on out. Maybe he's going for Bolgren upgrade? There are some landmines being thrown out by the mech boy. Moving uh, here, try and set on up. And here comes a Basco strike. That's three rounds? Holy crap. Luda's currently camouflage is very nice. What was that? We don't even know all right. Uh, orcs. They speak orc. It's a variation of British. Aren't like the uh, orcs dialogue based on like orc game, like British gangster slang gang, gang uh, British uh, gangster slang or whatever their groups are called? Sluggers will be forced to the Karshan squad. The Sluggers need to fall back. They can't go any farther. Oh, they can, but they will just die. On our side, we've got Storm Boys and the Weird Boy pushing the weight forward. Luda does have Death Gun. BB Death Gun upgraded, but there's nothing for to shoot at. Good landmine detonation there on the Olbrun. Nice uh, bomb there from the uh, weird boy. And Luda does get spotted there. Looks like both players have the orc player that now has tier 3. I'm not sure where all the resources went for the Imperial Guards. Great knockback there. Ooh, trying to get the landmines on the tree path. But they largely scattered over this direction. But the Commissar actually took most of those hits thanks to the shield generator. Over here, we do got the last cannon captain points. So both of them have pretty useful squad, BB death guns, and last cannon. They have nothing really to shoot at, so they're just only good for capturing at this point. Expensive capturing squad, but that's the best thing they can do. Grenades do come forward. Karchin squad, pulling them back. Flamers or Furnas are both burning. Good knockback there by the grenades. And now here comes the bull burns. Good knockback there by the weird boy. And we've got some vomit knocking back a couple more balls as well. A little bit late on some of those balls, but do their squad formation there, aren't advancing until the other ones can advance. Stick bombs, throwing some grenades, very nice. Stun grenades. And more grenades. Ooh, good stick bombs. And we'll find more and more of these landmines. Oh, so nice. Darbazai's got 300 points left! I do love the Imperial Guards music. Ludos are now trying to set on up. They may get collapsed on by the Goldbrands. Something being cast there. I'm not exactly sure what. That may be the invulnerability from the from the Lord Commissar. The Goldbrands have that nice electric field effect as well. The tickets are in. F Ooh, the Imperial Guardsman is losing quite a bit of tickets. It's almost even now. This 
I'm not exactly sure what this is. Oh, it's the fadeaway. That must be the face of Brockus, I'm assuming. Watch your watch. Now we got a Ludotank coming on out by the Mech Boy. More stick bombs. He does dodge the stick with the stun grenades. Now here comes the high explosive grenades. Getting some good uh, hits there. Ludotank is now advancing. He does have a last cannon here. The Imperial Guardsman here, the Flamer Squad, it may go down. Down to 15, 14, 12, 10, 9. And dead. Last cannon getting some good hits on the side armor. Nice uh, haywire grenade from the partial squad. And now we've got some uh, stick bombs stunning the last cannon. Ooh. I didn't realize how close it was to death. But the meat takes out that little tank. Very, very nice. Commissar is now being fallen, not holding on back. We do got these forces going for some gen bashing. And the Imperial Guardsman does have plenty of gener uh, energy at loss. This losing generator is not a huge issue. Good stun there from the vomit. And more stick bombs throwing on in. Those are pretty good. Not a racial storm mode being piled up. Is he going for a storm lord? He may be going for a. Let's see, Stormlord is the machine gun one. I always forget the name of the uh, Stormblade. That's the uh, plasma cannon one, right? I feel like he's going for the plasma cannon one. His, for his opponent's force is very susceptible to the uh, Stormblade. Good hit there. Carson Squad needs to fall back. 1,000 requisition for the uh, Stormblade, but he needs to reinforce some of these uh, Karshans. Here it is. He's going for the Stormlord, not the Stormblade. So he's going for the uh, Auto Cannon one. Oh, here. Last Cannon trying to capture the VP. And now we do got the Basque Strike on the Luda. But we're going to start whacking those generators. And we've got some knobs coming out. Nice uh, stun there on the Karshan Squad. Does that keep the Fist of Brockus? And rather trying to get more hits on it, he's just going to let them back away. Because he's going to try to capture the VPs. The VPs are very soon at this moment. Mech Boy is almost down. Last can missed against the Mech Boy. Right, we'll get the post up. There's a victory target. Good job for us. This last cannon is going to be very important when dealing with the uh, Storm Lord. We got another Heavy Weapons team coming on out. Maybe he's going to deploy a Heavy Weapons team to this garrison? Crush squad. Team is going to be overwhelmed. Here comes the stick bombs. He's some good damage here onto the uh, last cannon. Holds it back only the one model, so minor reinforcement cost. Contrast has plenty of health now here with the Stormboard. Stormboard's gonna be effective with all these forces. We may need to see a second BB death gun. Partial squad and plasma guns are pushing the way forward. Let's see, how's the population? Yep, the Imperial Guardsmen are at max pop. The Orcs pretty close to max pop as well. That looks important. This one may need to upgrade to a 
BB Death Gun, because against the Storm Lord, he's probably going to need two BB Death Guns. And he's going to just park in the center of the map. The Heavy Weapons team could push forward. Storm Boy's getting nice uh, stun there on the Grove Guardsman. Stormboys keep getting suppressed by the uh, Storm Lord. What could be best to describe as rotary, rotary rocket launchers, it would scare the crap out of me as well. Uh, the Storm Lord's currently facing the wrong direction. Gotta be very careful with that. Your voice is engaging. But the Storm Lord's fine at the moment. He won't go down anytime soon because the electric ability from the boulder. Bombing does the board is trying to take good damage on there on the field guards and keep the force wall on that. Still no team kept down on this guy either. Slug is being forced to fall back in such a way he does it. He does get decaptured. Team kept down against the case on the Storm Lord, but it's pretty far away from actually going down, and he's over the boots stop with it. No problem. Trying to get that Luda gun squad, and he does get that Luda squad, so that's another beam def the beam def gun he does not have to worry about. He could upgrade the mech boy of a beam def gun as well. He needs more beam def guns. The knob leader being researched for the knobs. Uh, knobs uh, fell back so early because those knobs are actually a good weapon uh, unit against the storm lord any sort of vehicle unit by the way that's the end of this replay this is angry saying thank you for watching